it's Valentine's Day tomorrow, so let's make some sugar cookies. Yum! Okay, first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna open it up and just sweet. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I was gonna say eat all the sugar, but I hate the taste of white sugar alone. So let's not do that. For the dry, we have two and a quarter cups of all purpose flour, half a teaspoon of baking powder, and a quarter teaspoon of salt. And we are just going to mix that all together. To your KitchenAid, you are going to add in one and a half sticks of softened butter and then three fourths cup of sugar. And we are going to beat that with a paddle attachment until it's nice and creamy, probably like two or three minutes. Into your mixer, you're going to add in one large egg, two teaspoons of vanilla, and half a teaspoon of almond extract. If you don't have the almond extract, just do the vanilla. That's totally fine, but we have it, so we're going to use it. We are going to mix that up and get it all incorporated. Now you are going to turn on your mixer on low speed, slowly add the dry until it's all incorporated as well. For this next step, we are going to get a sheet pan and throw some parchment paper on there, throw a little flour on a cutting board and divide the dough in half and then roll that out pretty thin. And then we're going to put the dough on here and repeat for the second round with a parchment paper in between the layers. I'm going to throw some saran wrap on this and let it chill for about an hour and then we'll go to the next step. Okie dokie! Cookies have been chilling for mm, about two hours now. I had to do some other things. Uh, so we are going to use our cookie cutters and cut them out and then place them on our sheet pan that is lined with parchment paper and preheat your oven to 350 right now. Okay, these are all cut out. You definitely don't have to refrigerate them for an hour. Maybe let them rest in the fridge for like 15 minutes uh, because every time you do it and you have leftover dough, you're just going to re-roll it again. So it doesn't make sense to refrigerate it for more than like 15 minutes-ish. Um, but I'm going to bake these for five minutes, rotate them and bake another, or five and a half minutes and rotate, do another five and a half until they are lightly browned on the bottom. Okay, they're done. This is what they look like on the back. They might be a little more brown um, than I was hoping for, but brown is tasty. So I'm really excited about these. I'm gonna stick them on a cooling rack and let them cool for like 10 to 15 minutes before I even think of icing these suckers. Okie we got them all frosted, did some royal icing, and put some little uh, sugar beads on top. So very happy with them and so excited to see how my hubby likes them. So hope you guys have a good night. They're the prettiest, but...